Good morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life and Harmony Podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up if you're down and out and depressed. You're the one that made that mess. You're the only one that can clean it up. Okay, I'm going to go over the list of all the things that control us throughout the day. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself distractions everywhere then you have nothing but excuses gambling work working out food addiction binge tv phone podcast news caffeine surgeries pain never having enough being in a relationship with a man or a woman mentally physically spiritually financially emotionally or sexually abusing one another and you may want to add to the list okay today i want to talk about um what are you waiting for? This is it. I mean, this is truly it. And um, to start learning how you, to live the life that you want. My son came up to me uh, the other day and said, Mom, Mom, I mean, all this bullshit all around us, the craziness. The... I said, Joey, that's, this shit's been going on for years, generations. We just have different generations, different crises. I said, why don't you start with your home? Why don't you start getting order in your home? Start with each crack and corner, each room, and start cleaning house mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, and sexually. Start cleaning house. And then he said to me, Mom, Mom, I said, that's it. We are in charge of what we do in our own home. That is it. This is it. This is as good as it gets. It's what we do with our day. Truly, this is success. What are you going to do today? We cannot control craziness around us. We cannot control what the universe is going to do. We cannot control the weather. We cannot control the government. They are going to do what the hell they always do. Lie, cheat, and steal. Both parties. So we need to create our own life. We need to do what's right for us. They have to pay the price. We have to pay the price for our actions. So today, what are you going to do? What are you going to make better today? Why don't you focus on yourself? Why don't you clean house? Why don't you clear out the closets? Do what you need to do to feel good. Go to work. Be 100%. Show up. Be kind. Be compassionate. Everything we do will come back to us. So when we put out kindness and compassion, that's what we get out. When we put out hatred, that's what we get back. So decide today how you want to live your day, how you want to be today, and watch how empowered you will be. Nobody can control what you do. You are in complete control of what you do. So if you're not happy right now, if you're in a bad way, look at what it is that you need to clean up and get started. And remember that balance, not too much of anything. Our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect <clears throat> you will get in return. Remember the goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else your head gets backed up. Remember, if you have an attitude today, remember be attitude. Being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. 
doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissisms, your words mean nothing and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful spiritual saying by Louise L. Hay. Addiction, you're running from yourself. You're not knowing how to love yourself. Loving treatment. Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my conscious, my very being. It radiates from me in all directions and returns to be multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes me feel good. It's an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take lovingly care of my body. I lovingly feed in nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it, and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with the vibration of love, so, so all who enter, myself included, will feel this love and be nourished by it. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing, one that uses my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people that I love and that love me and earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people, for I know that what I give out returns to me multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world, for they are mere of what I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive and totally release the past. In all past experiences, I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment at good, as good and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure. For I am a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forever. So it is Louise L. Hay. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to read a little part from my book, page one, 105, Spirituality, Response Review. What is your purpose? What do you stand for? What do you believe in? What kind of changes would you like to see around you in the world we live in? What did you always want to be or accomplish in your life? It is critical to have a game plan to include your work, pleasure, exercise, hobbies, and anything else you enjoy doing. Start putting these in your daily schedule or nothing will get accomplished. Your goals will become more attainable by listing the things you need to do to reach the goals. This will help as well with realistic deadlines for yourself. We always have to be in action with a realistic game plan. You don't want to over or under schedule. Remember, the goal is balance and harmony. It is important to enjoy what you do and not to overwhelm yourself. This is beautiful. You know, I really live by this page. And um, what makes my heart sing, I really love being with the grandchildren. I really love giving. I really love entertaining certain friends and being with certain people. And lately, I get the grandchildren on Mondays, and this this balance thing that I keep saying over and over and over again sounds so redundant, but I tell you what, I need to hear it every day because I have never enjoyed my grandchildren so much as I have lately. I had that little sabbatical that my daughter-in-law kept the kids from me for a little while, but it really get, got me thinking of how I could do it better. And I now, I don't overdo anything. And I used to get so hyper and overwhelmed and because we have so much we do in this little period of time. I now have my husband help me. The kids help. Everybody does their part. And I'm not busy doing everything. And I am enjoying them so much. And I even have time at night to enjoy the rest of the evening, to rest because of that balance. And I'm telling you, that balance is so powerful with everything we do because it's true. I You start to even resent having your grandchildren because you're so overwhelmed and so overworked with everything. When you start balancing it out and being realistic, like leaving the dishes at night if you can't get to them and get them in the morning and just being softer and easier and kinder to yourself. And it's the same with work. If you're obsessed and crazy and, 
have all this anxiety, realistically, go in, go in an hour earlier and get your work done and then leave and have your downtime. And I had a, an attorney that said to me, I might as well work for McDonald's. I work morning, noon, and night. I bring my work home. Well, shame on you. You shouldn't bring your work home. You're not good after a certain hour. That's just a lie you tell yourself. Just stop this bullshit of workaholism and hiding through your work. And you know what? If it's that bad, I suggest you find another job because you're going to end up in your grave miserable. No job, no relationship, no person, no child. Nothing is worth killing yourself over and doing too much over. We all need to teach each other how to be independent, how to work on our own, how to do the next right thing. And then we have more and more harmony. It is incredible. Remember, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated and needed and loved. I will speak up for myself today. Be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Make yourself a priority. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust, respect, and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not... Cause, I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I'm willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day you don't want to do to have a successful day. My two things are always getting up early, doing my podcast, working out, and keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workshops and my books if you want to learn about my services. Lifeandharmonyonline.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services. And remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Hit subscribe. Share it with everybody you love and respect. I'm doing it. Um, uh, Monday, start with podcast number one, number two, number three, do it for 30 days and you will not recognize yourself after one year. You won't even know who you are. And remember, I want you to have a breathtaking day today and thank you for listening.